Hello and welcome to our second video tutorial about Max Maps. After looking at the basic functions in our first tutorial, we are now going to have a closer look at the Max Maps models. The models are essentially a way to automatically create concept maps that enable you to focus on distinct elements of your research project. I begin by selecting the Max Maps entry in the Visual Tools section of the menu. To find the models, I navigate to New on the top left. The first model, called One Case Model, allows us to focus upon a single document or upon a document group or document set. The model will visualize their memos, codes and coded segments. To use it, we simply insert a document via drag and drop. In the option window, I can specify which data will be visualized. For instance, I select to display all kinds of memos and codes and a maximum of five coded segments for each code. After I click on OK, I see that the document is placed in the center while the memos, codes and coded segments are placed around it. Now we could further modify the map, for example by adding additional elements or inserting the text of coded segments. The second model, called one code model, allows us to focus on the single code and the segments coded with it. Again, we insert the code via drag and drop and then decide upon the number of memos and coded segments we want to add to our map. After clicking on OK, I see the code in the center and the coded segments arranged around it. The label of each segment states in which document it can be found. This model is especially useful to check whether the name of the code suits the segments coded with it. The code theory model is similar in the way that it also places one code in the center. The difference is that the code theory model visualizes not the segments, but the subcodes of a code. In the option window, I determine which memos and how many levels of subcodes will be included. So with the code theory model, you can have a closer look at the relationship between a code and a subcodes. Our fourth model visualizes the co-occurrence of codes. For every code I insert into the map, I can visualize all the co-occurring codes of that code. In the option window, I can specify which co-occurring codes will be included, for example, to limit my selection to codes used in activated documents or to only include coded segments with a certain weight. I can also choose to let the thickness of the connection lines resemble the frequency with which the codes co-occur. After clicking on OK, all co-occurrences are displayed on the map. The last model is called Code Subcode Segments model because it visualizes a code, its subcodes and the segments coded with it. The option window enables us, among other things, to specify a maximum of codes to be included and how many levels of subcodes will be taken into account. The last option will decide whether the thickness of the lines resemble the frequency of the subcodes. In case you want to use your map outside of MaxQDA, for presentations, posters or reports, you can export your map to different image formats by clicking on this button over here. 